And that day, her butt, her butt grew. Three sizes larger. Three sizes larger. Hello everybody and welcome to today's vlog. I am stoked, I'm headed to Offland right now and my friend Julia is in town. Hi guys, <laughs> I'm here. We're gonna go hit a glute session, lower body session at Alpha Land as well as a cardio session. And I was just telling her about one of my favorite pre-workouts. You guys know I kind of go through phases with food, with pre-workouts, with coffee orders, where I just kind of like find something I love and I stick with it. Well, Enduraformance is my favorite pre-workout right now. It was really constructed for endurance athletes. And with all the different training I've been doing, I've been loving it for everything. Jiu-Jitsu, Muay Thai, especially when I have back-to-back -back sessions. Where like today we're doing glutes and we also have cardio. So I want to be sustained through my entire workout. So this is perfect for that. It helps with muscle fatigue, helps with hydration and keeping you and nice and energized throughout the entirety of a really long session. Nice, you got it. Most people don't get it. Bye, Frank. We love you. I never got into bodybuilding to win, you know, and I still don't. I still don't do it to win. Really? Yes. Expand. Um, that's just uh, that's just great. Yeah, winning's great. We love to win, <laughs> but um, I've never got into it for the winning aspect of it. I'm in it for the journey. You know, mm, I'm see. a psychopath, and I love. <laughs> you're in great. You're in great company. <laughs> I'm <then>. crazy. <laughs> you're not crazy yes. because I'm the same crazy. I'm like, you're not crazy. So I'm we're normal. Crazy. <laughs> but I. Like, really, I get into it because I love being put in difficult situations, mm -hmm. and I strive off of that. Hey everyone and welcome to the workout for today's video. So most of you guys probably know Julia Renee. She is an IFBB wellness pro. So you have a bikini pro and a wellness pro getting together, training glutes and hams. And do we have a workout for you? You guys, if you want to have a killer leg day, try this, this workout as is. We started with this first exercise here and because of the pre-workout that we took, it has a little bit of pump product in it. We were so pumped just from this very first exercise. And that's one way that I really like to utilize supplements is simply by using something that's performance enhancing, right? So when you're in the gym and you're getting that crazy sick pump, it allows you to have better mind muscle connection. So definitely try it out. If you guys haven't tried something with creatine or beta alanine or any of the products that are gonna help you feel that pump, it'll just help you to isolate the area you're looking to work on a little bit better. We then moved into some hip thrusts and this is actually the most amount of weight that I've done on hip thrust in quite a while. Thank you to Julia for encouraging me to go for it. Uh, my biggest thing is making sure that I just have perfect form with the reps and I never want to sacrifice, especially on something like hip thrust, I never want to sacrifice perfect form for a little bit more weight. So I'm fine doing a little less weight as long as I'm getting the squeeze that I'm looking for. But I was actually able to get really beautiful, perfect squeezes even with three plates on each side. So here what you're watching is a drop set. We did a drop set with our heaviest set down from three plates on each side to one. And then after we completed that and went to failure, <laughs> which was incredibly painful, we used just the band and we did some abductors to failure. And this is a trio that is going to have you not being able to walk later. So just forewarning you that if you try this, you're definitely going to feel it. Julie and I, every time we get together, I feel like we always think we're just going to hit a cute session at the gym. And we always end up like going back to my house and literally disappearing for hours because we're like, oh yeah, I'm just going to rinse off and then get to work. And we end up napping for hours because we just killed our bodies but it's honestly it's my favorite and i feel so good and accomplished and rejuvenated after such a heavy leg day some healthy food and a little rest session a little little snooze if you will except our snoozes aren't cute either they're like we go into the abyss <laughs> So um, yeah, training together was amazing and I, I think it's awesome to be able to train with people from you know different cities, different divisions even, and come together and on something common like our bodybuilding, our love for lifting, our love for pushing ourselves past extremes. You guys saw the podcast that I kind of teased to you earlier in the episode. If you haven't seen that one yet, definitely check out the full length podcast where we talk about those things. We talk about overcoming challenges and pushing yourself to failure and beyond. And and the gym is such an easy practical way to be able to 
practice that in your life. You know, there's so many things that life throws at us that we sometimes aren't ready for. And when you're in the gym and you're practicing on a consistent basis, overcoming things that you thought that you couldn't overcome, when something comes at you in life, you're able just to view it as an extension of this, right? You're able to say, okay, I, I've never handled this before. I don't know if I can handle this, but I, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to go for that extra set, that extra rep, that extra weight. And every single time that you practice overcoming it in the gym, it builds your strength and your confidence a little bit more, quite literally, <laughs> but also just internally and in your character so that when something goes on outside of the gym, it's, uh, it's really applicable. And sometimes you don't even recognize the direct correlation until sometime later so we moved on to hamstring curl and it was my goal to do some straight sets but you guys I was just feeling like a million bucks so I went ahead and went for some drop sets on this one too I think we recorded that for Instagram not YouTube though um, but on our top set here we did a drop set just a double drop set so your heaviest weight do it for as many reps as you can till failure and then drop the weight two more times after that this last exercise you guys saw when my friends Max and Achilles visited, they showed me this exercise and since then I've incorporated it into at least one of my leg day sessions every single week. It's one of my new favorite exercises. It's a really great way to just isolate the glutes, isolate the hams and make sure that your lower back isn't into it at all. I'll mix some regular reps where you squeeze and hold at the top with some faster pace reps as well. So once I've kind of gotten to the end of my reps, I'll do some quick pace just as like a little bit of a burnout at the end of each set. And this is where we ended our workout here together. Julia went on to do the cardio that we both said that we were gonna do, but I was, guys, I was just on a different level and I was like, I'm not done yet. I need to find what it is. I don't know what it is, but there's something else in the gym that I need to do. And I went on an adventure, a hunt, a search to find the exercise that was just gonna put me on my butt and I walked past a squat rack that was empty and I was like you know what I think it's front squats your girl has not front squatted in possibly years I would have to check my YouTube channel probably but I have not front squatted in a very long time and I just all of a sudden decided that that was the exercise that I needed to do with legs together going down all the way back up and then supersetting that with a curtsy lunge or reverse curtsy lunge and that was the finisher for me that took me from feeling like I had a little bit more gas in the tank to zero zip none in the tank nunga I had nothing left after this and that is how I want to end my session especially because it was a Saturday and it's the end of the week it's the last session of the week I want to know that I gave it 110% of everything that I have and that's what this session did for me you know I had a few people come up and ask like what I'm training for when the next show is and that kind of thing and guys I train like this because I genuinely enjoy it and I genuinely love it I'm not doing it for a show I'm not doing it for the stage or for competition I'm doing it because it's a Saturday and it's what I love to do so I, I train like an animal because like in the podcast we mentioned we're a special kind of psycho we actually enjoy the challenge we enjoy overcoming really hard things that we thought that we couldn't do so if you are like us then you're going to enjoy this workout uh, write it down save it for later come back to this if you want to try it for your next leg day and then let us know how it went tag us on your instagram stories let us know that you tried our leg day go try it with a friend it's always nice suffering together rather than suffering alone so try it out and let us know how it goes